K. Yili Rittenhouse being acquitted on all charges after such heinous heinous crimes is the epitome of white privilege and exactly what is wrong with this godforsaken country Ziegler wrote Friday on social media. About an hour before her tweet, the Kyle Rittenhouse trial came to a close after a jury in Kenosha, Wisconsin, found the 18-year-old not guilty of all charges. As the news written House Innocence was announced, leftists across social media had a collective meltdown. Ziegler joins the many Hollywood celebrities and elites who piled on written House in the aftermath of the verdict. Like Ziegler, many of the celebrities oddly claimed written House is benefiting from white male privilege. If written House weren't white, he probably wouldn't be on trial. Because he'd be dead proclaimed ABC's designated survivor writer Pat Cunane also focused on Rittenhouse's skin color. These comments honing in on skin color are especially bizarre, given that the law in the United States does not specify that only white men have a right to self-defense when they reasonably believe there is an imminent threat of harm. On the same day of Rittenhouse's acquittal, for example, Another young man, who is black, claiming he fired a gun in self-defense was also found not guilty of murder. A Gifford man who claimed he was defending himself and his girlfriend when he fired shots at deputies during an early morning raid in 2017 was acquitted Friday of charges that carried a life prison term T.C. Palm reported. A jury found Andrew A.J. Coffey IV. 27, not guilty of second-degree felony murder, three counts of attempted first-degree murder of a law enforcement officer by discharging a firearm and one count of shooting or throwing a deadly missile the report added.